Hey guys, it's Aman and Christina from, from Our Rich Journey. Journey. Today is the day that I've been waiting for because we are going to show you how we renovated our kitchen for only a thousand dollars. And people have asked us time and time again, how have you done it? Well, we are going to let you guys in on a huge secret. I mean, after you watch this video, your mind will be blown. But this video is not just for those that are renovating a kitchen. You could even use some of these tips to start your own side hustle. So if you've watched our videos in the past, you know that we're real estate investors. And one of the things that we've been able to do is save a significant amount of money on our investments because we DIY projects ourselves. One of our last videos, we show you how we made over $400,000 in real estate profits. Well, on today's video, we're gonna show you the hack that was key to making all of that money. So the hack starts with our kitchen. We only spent $1,000 on a complete renovation of our kitchen. This kitchen would normally cost more than $15,000 in material and more than $15,000 in labor. We were able to save over $30,000 just by doing this work by ourselves. In order to explain how we saved the $30,000 just on the kitchen, we need to tell a story. It started with our real estate investment in this house. See, the plan was to buy this house and to pay contractors to actually renovate the majority of the house. But as we started to get bids from these contractors, we realized that the prices were astronomical. And we said to ourselves, let's try to see if we can do this ourselves. Now we're not gonna talk about the whole house, we're just gonna focus on the kitchen. And the minimum bid we got from a contractor for a renovation on the kitchen was $30,000, but we got another bid for up to $70,000. And we wanted to think about ways that we could cut costs on our kitchen renovation. We started to think about IKEA. IKEA has all these different kitchen layouts and we found that the materials for a kitchen, that you could replace an entire kitchen for about $15,000 in material costs. Just a quick note about contractor estimates. On the estimates that we got, these were just estimates. These were the contractor's best guess. But those estimates usually go up, especially when a contractor goes in and starts doing the work. Now contractors have a lot of expenses, and so these estimates are justified. We don't wanna start bashing contractors, but we knew that some of the prices that they had quoted for us, we could do things for a lot cheaper. And I'll give you an example of this. One of the line items on the contractor's estimate was to dispose of the junk from our kitchen. Once we had demolished everything, they were gonna charge us $2,600 just to take all of that stuff to the dump. Now we knew we could do that for a lot more cheaper. We knew we could rent a U-Haul, go to our local dump and dump it. And in fact, that's what we did. We did that for only $200. Another example is we saw line item costs where contractors were charging us hundreds of dollars just to go get permits from the city. Now this is not the actual cost of the permit that they're charging us, they're charging us the time that it would take for them to go to the city to get the actual permit. Hundreds of dollars just for less than an hour's work. And this type of stuff was throughout these estimates. I mean hundreds and thousands of dollars to do things that we thought I can do that and I can save a lot more money. So this really inspired us to do this project ourselves and it set off a chain of events that really changed the way we invested in properties. Now let's get back to our IKEA kitchen. So we started exploring IKEA and looking at all the really beautiful kitchens that we saw. Now, I just wanna say that we are not getting any money from IKEA to talk about this, but I think it's a great hack, so we really wanna focus on it. We started going through the kitchen displays and really loved them and thought, this is a type of kitchen we want in our home. And as we started to plan these kitchens, we settled on a kitchen that cost about $15,000 and we were all set for, for paying $15,000 for this kitchen. We had budgeted for it and it was a part of our estimate. We knew that we were gonna realize the savings on the labor, but then something very special happened. As we were leaving Ikea one day, we happened to walk past the as-is section of the store. And this is where the hack happens. As we were walking past the as-is section, we went in to take a look at what they had available. And usually you're looking at furniture in the as-is section, but there's a little corner in Ikea that has material and they have raw materials for the kitchens. They have kitchen cabinets, they have kitchen countertops, they have stoves, microwaves, hoods, they have entire kitchens. And they are there completely marked down. And in some cases, as much as 90%. 
So for those of you that don't know what the IKEA as is section is, it's basically a place where customer returns go. So for example, if someone buys an IKEA couch, they put it together and for whatever reason they decide that they don't want it in their house and they want to return it, rather than taking the couch apart and putting it back in the warehouse or in the showroom, IKEA will put it in the as is section. And these things are heavily discounted in the as is section. So the as is section is not just for furniture but it's also for the Ikea kitchens. And this blew our minds because people would buy kitchens, maybe they put together one or two cabinets, but they would have still ordered the whole kitchen and then changed their mind. And then they would return that kitchen to Ikea and instead of Ikea putting it back on the shelf or back on the showroom, they would put that kitchen in the as is section, an entire kitchen. So once we discovered this, we were at the as is section daily. We were looking for cabinets, we were looking for countertops, we were looking for hardware for cabinets. It was just an amazing find for us. Oh, we were there every us. day. I, I'm sorry, we are so excited to share this with you because we, we were looking for stoves, for refrigerators. It wasn't just the cabinets, it was the entire kitchen. And something else that is really amazing is that IKEA will put together the kitchens on their in their showroom and then change out their kitchen in their showroom and then take that showroom kitchen and put it in the as is section. So you can walk into Ikea and see an entire already put together kitchen and, and that, that was amazing. Now I want to back this up a little bit here. We're talking about going to the as is section every single day and starting to purchase these products from there. Like we're just rummaging through it. <laughs> yeah, but I do want to say we weren't doing this all willy nilly and just buying whatever we could on sale. We actually had a plan. So when we were talking about originally using the IKEA showroom model products and paying $15,000 for the kitchen, we actually put a plan in through the IKEA website and it gave us a materials list. So it told us all the materials and products that we needed to buy in order to support that $15,000 kitchen. Now, when we're looking at the as is section, we have the same exact plan and we're looking for the same exact materials from the list. We're just focused on finding those materials in the as is section versus paying full cost for them. Now, you might be asking how long did it take us to get all of these materials and products for our entire kitchen? It actually didn't take that long. With us going there every single day to IKEA, we were able to get all of the material, all of the material for our kitchen within a matter of weeks. Oh yeah, I mean, we were there so much that the people that work there, they they would see us coming and say, "We don't have anything today," or "You got lucky today. We happen to have all this stuff." Or you guys should come back tomorrow because they're bringing down an entire kitchen. It, we really had a lot of fun doing this. I want to be more concrete with our numbers because we talk about how we renovated our entire kitchen for only $1,000. So I want to talk about specific products that we bought in the as is section. Cabinet doors, for example, you buy brand new at Ikea, they're going to cost you $80. We paid on average about $8 to $10 for cabinet doors. The countertops that we wanted to purchase at Ikea started at about $100 per slab. We were able to purchase them from anywhere between $10 and $30. Now cabinet units at Ikea are pretty expensive. They start at about $200 and we were able to get these heavily discounted and paid about on average about $20 per cabinet unit. And one of the more pricier items brand new is the oven hood. We were looking for one that cost about $800 and we got it in the as is section for only 80 bucks. Now you guys may be skeptical or may think that these deals are not still around. Well, they are because I was in Florida a couple of months ago, and so I went to some Ikeas, and I checked out the as is section, and in the as is section, they had the same markdowns, they had the same discounts. So if you're in Florida, you better run to that Ikea <laughs> right now before someone else in Florida watches this, because the materials are there. And I did another run in California. I walked into that Ikea, and everything was there. I mean, I get so excited thinking about this, because I know you guys are gonna watch this video, and even if you're not renovating your kitchen, you should go to Ikea and get these things. Because one thing that we did is that we put whatever material we didn't use on Craigslist and it sold like wildfire. I mean, we had those countertops. We even bought a granite countertop that we had no intention of putting into our house because it was so cheap and we resold it to another contractor and we made a killing. 
So that's the hack that Amon mentioned at the beginning of the video. Not only are we finding these as-is products to renovate our own kitchen, but we're purchasing these products with the intent to sell them to other people. So that's sort of our side hustle at the time. We were getting as-is products at Ikea and selling them at a huge profit. And there were some situations where we would go into Ikea and they would have torn out an entire showroom kitchen and the entire kitchen would be sitting there in the as-is section. I'm we would back the truck up and throw <laughs> that whole kitchen in a U-Haul or in our pickup truck and we would sell that kitchen within a matter of days. We would resell it in a matter of days and make a huge profit. So those are two hacks to this video. The first is if you're gonna do home renovations, check out the as is section at Ikea and use those products in that section to build your kitchen and save a lot of money on doing your own home renovations. Now, if you don't know how to do home renovations yourself, we did a video on that, so you should check that out. The second hack is if you are interested in a side hustle, a great idea and something that worked for us was to go to the Ikea as is section and just purchase products and resell them. Don't, don't just go there. You better run there <laughs> right now because people are going to watch this video and I'm telling you right now, don't share this video with anybody. <laughs> Keep this secret to yourself because you will make a ton of money doing this. Okay, but in, a, in addition to keeping this secret to yourself, make sure if you like this video, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and join, join the, the journey. journey.